When we asked Congressman Tony Gonzalez to come on with us in our KSAD Q&A, the intention was to talk about April being Child Abuse Prevention Month and his personal story that has to do with that. But in light of what's happened uh, in Minneapolis, the president talking just moments ago about the verdict uh, against Derek Chauvin in the George Floyd trial, I, I think we, I want to hear from you your reaction to that verdict and what kind of message it sends and where we go from here. First off, thank you for being with us, Tony. No, thank you for having me. And, and the message it sends is our justice system works. And uh, while we have many issues and while we're divided in many ways, uh, our system works. And, and look, George Floyd should be alive today. We can't forget that. I'll also remind people, you know, what's happening around the country, that doesn't necessarily, we don't have those same issues in San Antonio. Right. We have we we have our problems, but we're a very different city. Right. I, I believe that is a powerful thing. We can't lose sight of that, too. You know, uh, uh, San Antonio is a special place. Let's not it be. Let's not it, let it get to the point as some of these these problems these other cities are facing. And our coverage, of course, of uh, the aftermath, the reaction to the verdict in the Chauvin case will continue later on tonight as well as online. But we want to get to that all important topic. The reason that we invited you here today to talk about child abuse. It is, as Steve said, National Child Abuse Prevention Month. You've been very open uh, with your own experiences. You suffered child abuse. Tell us what you went through. What what's your story? Yeah, I did. And, you know, um, it's been really 35 years since that's happened. And, and oftentimes, look, we all carry scars around. And many times we hide those scars and we don't want people to see our vulnerabilities. I've, I've quickly learned as an elected official, you know, your, your, your private life is no longer private. And, you know, as a child, um, you know, my mother remarried and it was a very abusive environment. And I remember spending time in a battered women's shelter, the battered women's shelter there in San Antonio. And um, it's been surreal to visit it, uh, you know, as a member of Congress and, and see it through a different eyes. But really, I just want to highlight, yes, it is April is Child Abuse Awareness Month. We have to tackle this issue. There's so many other things going on, and it's very easy for us to lose sight of that. But it is a real issue that we all need to surround. And it's not a partisan issue. We all need to get behind it. We need to protect the innocent. And that starts with children. You know, you talked about going back to the San Antonio Children's Shelter. It's a place that I've been before to visit. And uh, when you see the young kids that are there, did you get to visit with any of them and share your message? Because I would think your message to a kid that's going through that or has gone through that has to be so powerful. You know, I haven't yet. I mean, it, I'm still coming to kind of coming to grasp with my own ability to kind of share that message because I agree with you. I think it's very powerful for people to see, hey, you went through this and, and look, now you're a United States congressman. You know, I remember there was a moment I was, you know, when I when we had just gotten there, we were having dinner. And, and look, the kids that there that were that were there at the time, they were really rough kids. And one of the children goes, oh, you're going to eat that? You know, that they serve us spoiled buffalo meat here. That's the furthest thing from the truth. But here I am, a 40 year old man, and I still remember that story as if it was yesterday. I say that to go. There's moments in our lives, good, bad, ugly, that stay with us. And I think it's important for those that have experienced that to not forget it and go back and share that message with others that this may be a dark time, but bright days are ahead. Congressman, we want to continue this conversation. So if you can stick with us after this commercial break, uh, we'll pick back up this very important topic. Great. I'm happy to. We're continuing our conversation with Congressman Tony Gonzalez about child abuse, an experience that you lived through yourself. You said you one you were still talking about publicly, but very much coming to terms with. And I'd, I'd like to ask you, we always talk about child abuse as being a much wider problem, a community wide problem, something that's going to take all of us to recognize and combat. So are there any signs that you would tell people to look for, whether it's a friend or a teacher or a colleague, what may be some red flags? Yeah, I know, thank you for that. And, and look, I think we've all are dealing with this pandemic. And one of the ugly facts of this pandemic is, uh, you know, 
children that are abused have had to stay home with their abuser for months on end. That's one of the things that really hasn't been told. One thing that we can look for is is really in our schools, in our churches. You know, if, if a child just seems off or, or seems as if they're down. But look, one, one of the experiences I had, I, I would, you know, sometimes wear the same clothes I wore the, the day before to school. I mean, it's just very powerful. Like if you just if you just stay around and look and realize what's happening, we have to realize we are one community and we are all in on this together and get involved, right? Whether that's with the battered women's shelter, whether that's with, you know, your church or your religious uh, facilities that you go to, an NGO, you know, your, your neighborhood association, just get involved. We, we all have, we're all in on this together. You know, you have, a, you, you have such a powerful story to tell. I remember seeing a video of you and I, I believe it was your mother talking about seeing the taxi lights pull yeah. up. Talk about that a little bit. Yeah, that was, that was tough to do. And, and like I said, this, mo this, this memory is seared in my brain. And, you know, I remember I was uh, six years old. It was, it was past midnight. So I'm kind of groggy, half asleep. And my mother wakes me up, you know, we're trying to quietly leave this home. Um, and, uh, you know, she's asking me to be quiet and I don't kind of don't know what's happening, but I'm also a little excited because I'm excited to leave that environment. And she kind of tells me I was the oldest. I have two younger brothers and she tells me, you know, we're leaving, you know, uh, she didn't tell me where we're going, but outside was this taxi and it's remember it's pitch dark and I just see these taxi lights. And to me, it was, it was freedom. It was our freedom from that place. And it's a moment that would just always stay with me. And I just think it's, um, it's important that we, uh, we all, we all just kind of, um, you know, remember that, uh, not everybody, not everybody has that person to defend them. And we have to be that. Tony, you know, there are so many people who are out there watching who have either gone through what you've gone through or are going through what you're going through. So just to have the bravery to sit here and talk with us and share that story, uh, it's making an impact. It is. I hope you know that. Yeah, no. And, and look, Steve, I'm, I'm a father of six now. And to me, that is the most important thing that was I will ever have is to be a loving father to my children. I would just say, if you're going through this situation, you can get out, you can fight and you can make a different life for yourself. What I'm so proud of at, at all the adversity that my family has gone through, my mother lives with us today. My mother helps raise our children. It, it just, it's very special. And, and regardless of what situation you're in, speak up, be vocal, and change the direction of your life. And that is what I hope whoever is watching this, whether it is a mom, a dad, a child who is in an abusive situation, they know that there is help out there. And uh, certainly you sharing your story is a big step in letting people know that they can make a change. Congressman yeah. Gonzalez, thank you so much for being brave enough to share this with us. Yeah, no, thank you. And thank you for covering the story. I know there's a lot going on, but it is important for us to remember April's Child Abuse Prevention Month. Congressman Tony Gonzalez, thank you for your time. If you see something, say something. We'll be right back.